Hello, you are tuned in to Ruhani Guidance and this is your rest of the month prediction if you are ruled by the number 2. So if you are born on 2, 11th, 20th or 29th of any month, this reading is for you. Also, if you are ruled by the moon, this reading is for you. So looking into your personal energies, but before I look into your personal energies, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, like, comment, share and help Ruhani guidance guide a lot more people. Um, looking at your cards for the rest of the month, number twos, you've got the moon card and you've got success. So um, <clears throat> mo uh, number twos here, um, I see that you're a lot more ruled by the mind, uh, by your heart rather than uh, a very logical mind here. Uh, you are thinking uh, very emotionally and very. Uh, you might also find yourself very, very intuitive when it comes to a lot of things in your life. And uh, if you have been uh, facing a rough patch lately, this is a sign that you will be coming out of it. Also, we've got the success card. You are definitely coming out of the uh, of a rough patch. And uh, this is just the end of the tunnel, which you will have to drag through. And that's it. You will be in light again. Uh, you may also be feeling a lot of insecurities and fears and which is very, very normal if you're in, in, in a very tight situation uh, when you're going through something tough. <clears throat> also could be with people who are facing some mental, uh, mental issues, um, um, you know, related to mental health, uh, mental health issues. Uh, this could be a time where you will be able to gain some sort of success over this. You will be able to gain some sort of clarity, some sort of, a, um, you know, a, a medication that will work for you. Um, somewhere you will be able to sustain and balance your mental health uh, for the rest of the month and things will change for you. Also, number two is I would like to remind you that a lot of... Uh, a lot of transition in uh, a lot of transitions are happening uh, in the celestial environment and uh, we will be majorly impacted by a lot of them i will make a separate video to talk about it but a lot of major planets are moving positions moving signs and it it's all going to cause an impact on us so for the rest of the month you just need to lay um, you just need to lie low and uh, you just need to go uh, and take things as per they come no immediate actions that should be coming from you um, uh, and nothing abrupt that you should be doing <clears throat> in your love life you might uh, also be feeling very stuck up uh, you might feel that you're not able to move forward. You're not able to take a decision forward. You're not able to make up your mind in regards to a love relationship. You might also feel that you're in a very loveless situation. <clears throat> but um, number two is let me just assure you that there will be a spiritual interference. Uh, God will align things for you in a way that will look like magic you will get whatever you're desiring for also you will get whatever you're desiring for if you can um, keep a very positive mindset you can believe that uh, whatever you've been wanting is what has been wanting you if you are stuck up in a loveless relationship or if you are stuck up in a situation where you're in a separation or where you're not communicating where you're not talking to your uh, special someone uh, you will have to have this firm belief that even uh, even they want to talk to you and even they have the same love that you want. And then uh, they will be attracted to you because that is the message that you are sending out to the universe. That is the message you are going to uh, convey to the universe that the other person also wants you as much as you want them. And then the universe will take an action to bring you uh, back, uh, bring that person back to you. <clears throat> number two is there is a tower moment in your career front on your career front we've got the tower we will see what the tower uh, indicates here and then we've got uh, knight of wands so let's see what the tower is here nine of cups 
the emperor and the magician ace of swords So uh, number two is here. Uh, I feel that you have become, uh, you are in a comfort zone where uh, <clears throat> where you have become a little stagnant with your energies because we've got the nine of cups, we've got uh, the emperor, and we've got the magician. Under the deck we have Ace of Swords and the next card we have Strength, Page of Cups. So I feel that there has been a shift in you uh, mentally. Uh, there has been something that has, uh, that has been keeping you very stagnated at work. Your energies are very stagnated at work and you really need to... Um, um, so for some of you, this could be that because you are stagnated, you're not taking a step forward and then the cards advise you to move ahead quickly, swiftly, uh, take action, go for it in a very charged manner and achieve whatever you want. For the others of you, for people who are doing uh, reckless stuff, uh, for people who are not uh, paying a lot of attention, they're just uh, going at a laser speed and they're not really um, you know, bothered with the outcome of a situation. Uh, they could be having a tower moment because um, they could be very, very stubborn about certain things. They could be very stubborn about the way they work. They could be very stubborn about the way they uh, are, uh, you know, communicating. Again, with the magician uh, is also ruled by Mercury, which can again say that, you know, with uh, the sort of communication you have, you could be having a tower moment with the communication uh, that you draw with people. Uh, but however you have to be very careful you can't uh, go uh, at a very uh, fast speed and you cannot be stagnant so you will have to have a mid approach you will have to be um, yeah, you know you will have to uh, sort of program yourself in a way that you are taking sustainable decisions decisions that will help you move forward and progress forward looking at some of the advices that we have for you we've got Vast vistas, expand your horizons, get more information, you're not moving ahead with a lot of information and I've pulled out a card for you, uh, for someone who wants to give you a message, uh, could be your loved one, uh, I want I want to grow old with you, oh number two is or this could be you feeling the same about your loved one. And again, under the deck I have, I can't be here anymore. Very, very evident with your hangman energy. But there is help coming for you. Just and just keep affirming very, very positive things. Be very positive. Behave in a manner, um, you know, uh, imp apply the law of attraction. Behave in a manner that you have already manifested the person you love. And that will bring them back to you in your life. So number two is I have adopted a new format. Let me know how you find this format. Please write to me in the comment, uh, in the comment section below. And if this reading resonates with you, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And uh, until I do the next reading, you stay home, stay safe and stay tuned to Ruhani Guidance.